Zoo by Anthony Brown My family, me, my brother, dad, mum. Last Sunday, we all went to the zoo. Me and my brother were really excited. But there were masses of cars on the road and it took ages to get there. After a while, Harry and I got really bored. So, we had a fight. Harry started crying and Dad told me off. It's not fair. He never tells Harry off. It's always my fault. What kind of jam do you get stuck in? Asked Dad. Don't know, said Harry. A traffic jam! <laughs> Roared Dad. Everyone laughed, except Mum and Harry and me. It costs how much? When we finally got there, Dad had to have a row with the man in the ticket booth. He tried to say that Harry was only four and should get in half price. He's five and a half, actually. Daylight robbery, Dad snarled. Sometimes he can be really embarrassing. Come down, you little rat bag. Oh, Harry, do be careful. We hadn't got a map of the zoo, so we just wandered around. Me and my brother wanted to see the gorillas and monkeys, but we had to see all these boring animals first. We went into the elephant house, which was really smelly. The elephant just stood in a corner, stuffing his face. Mum had brought some chocolate, and Harry and I were starving. Can we have it now? I asked. No, not yet said Dad. Why not? whined Harry. Because, said Dad. Because what? I asked. Because I say so, said Dad. It seemed he was in one of his moods. Here, puss, come here, pussy. Then we saw the tigers. One of them was just walking along a wall of the cage, then turning round and walking all of the way back. Then it would start again. Poor thing, said Mum. You wouldn't say that if it was chasing after you, snorted Dad. Look at those nasty teeth. Get off, you get off me. Harry and I were getting really hungry. Can't we have lunch now, I asked. But we've only just got here, said Mum. Seemed like we'd been there for hours. My brother thumped me, so I kicked him, and we wrestled for a bit, then Dad told me off. We looked at the penguins next. I usually find penguins funny when I see them on the telly, but all I could think of was food. Here, what animal can you eat at the zoo? asked Dad. Don't know, I groaned. A hot dog! <laughs> Howled Dad. He was holding his stomach and laughing so much that tears were rolling down his face. Come on, boys, said Mum. Let's get something to eat. The cafe was great. I had burger and chips and beans and loads of tomato ketchup and a chocolate ice cream with raspberry sauce. It was brilliant. After that, we went into the gift shop to spend our pocket money. We each bought a funny monkey hat. Which one is the monkey? <laughs> Jeered you know who. Then we had to go and see the polar bear. It looked really stupid. Just walking up and down. Up and down. Next, we saw the baboons. And they were a bit more interesting. Two of them had a fight. They remind me of someone, said Mum. I can't think who. The orangutan crouched in the corner and didn't move. We tried shouting at it and banging on the glass, but it just ignored us. Miserable thing. Hey, look at that one, 
Finally, we found the gorillas. They were quite good. Of course, Dad had to do his King Kong impersonation, but luckily we were the only ones there. Then, it was time to go home. In the car, Mum asked us what was the best bit of the day. I said the burger and chips and beans, and Harry said the monkey hats. Dad said the best bit was going home, and asked her what was for dinner. I don't think the zoo really is for animals, said Mum. I think it's for people. That night, I had a very strange dream. Do you think animals have dreams?